Hi, this is Satya Malik from LearnOpenCV.com and in this video we are going to show you a few tricks on how to improve the speed of DLib's Facial Landmark Detector. Now out of the box, DLib's Facial Landmark Detection has a performance of about 10 to 15 frames a second. You can see this that the video is very choppy and we want to improve on that. One thing I would like to emphasize from the very beginning is that DLib's facial landmark detection is actually very fast. There are a few things that make it appear slow and we will be addressing those issues. Let us straight away dive into the results. When I use a webcam which has a capture rate of 30 frames a second, I get nearly 30 frames a second. And when I use a video which was shot at 120 frames a second, I get about 65 to 70 frames a second, which is pretty good. You can visit my website to know the details of all the tricks, but here I'm going to briefly describe them. The very first thing to keep in mind is to compile in release mode. Whether you're using CMake or Visual Studios or Qt, every one of them has a release mode and a debug mode. Debug mode substantially slows down processing, so use the release mode. DLib's facial landmark detector can run at a thousand frames a second. Yes, you heard it right, it can run really, really fast. But you will not see that kind of performance when you use it. The reason is there are several bottlenecks. The first bottleneck is that the landmark detector requires a face detector. Before you can find the landmarks, you need to find the face in the photo. And the face detector can take between 30 milliseconds to 60 milliseconds based on how big the image is, the frame is. So one strategy is to reduce the number of face detections we do. You can do the face detection every other frame. You can do it every fourth frame because we are capturing these videos at 30 frames a second. The second thing you can do is reduce the size of the frame. So it has fewer pixels to process. Another bottleneck is that it takes the computer a very long time to take all these pixels and display it on the screen. Obviously, we can display the frames at a lower resolution and get some more improvements in speed. Finally, I also wrote a face renderer, the markings that you see on the face in OpenCV, and that appears to be slightly faster. Those are a few of the tricks that will help you speed up DLib's facial landmark detector. And that's all I have to share today. I would really appreciate if you visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter. We share a ton of useful computer vision and machine learning stuff. Thank you.